Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to work on solving a compound inequality. And this is a special one because it's basically two inequalities connected by the word or. Now the process for solving this is not going to look too unusual from solving normal inequalities. Anytime we divide or multiply by a negative number, we're going to make sure that these signs get flipped. Uh, and other than that, I'm just basically going to do these separately and then we'll connect our answer in the end. All right, so let's get started. So over on the one on the left, I want to isolate that x, get it all by itself. So I'm going to start by adding 5. Okay, this will give me a 2x is less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, next I can divide by 2. And this will give me that x is less than or equal to a negative 1. Okay, so this inequality is done, and we move over to the second one here. Much the same way, I work to isolate x. So add 5 to both sides, and let's see what we get. So 2x is greater than 6. All right, now we'll divide both sides by 2, and end up with x being greater than a 3. So notice how I didn't have to flip signs since when I divided it was a positive number. All right, so it looks like I have two different solutions, and in some sense I do, but they're connected using this word or. So let's see how that fits into our overall solution. Basically what's going to happen is as long as I have a number that is less than or equal to negative 1, or it happens to be greater than 3, it is a solution of the original. So let's put these places on our number line. So down here I have my negative 1, and over here I have 3. I'm going to shade in everything less than a negative 1. And I'll shade in everything greater than the 3. Now since it says or equals to negative 1, I'm going to make that a nice solid include the negative 1 point. And since this one is a strict inequality, I will use a big open circle. So here I have an interval from negative infinity to negative 1 inclusive. And over here I have another interval from 3 to infinity. Now since I want to make sure that my intervals are connected using OR, I'm going to use this symbol right here. And it looks like a giant U. We want to think of this as meaning OR. So either my answer is in this interval, or it is in this interval. And there you have it. We are done. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.